been trailing Raggedy for days. Guys like him were like soap in the bath. Slip out of your grasp and you never know where they'll pop up next. Face like his, though, would get back to me soon enough. Carlo thought he had the drop on me, but I'd seen men like him come and go a thousand times. Idealistic types, no taste for compromise. In a city like this, a man has two choices. Become part of the system or dress up like a dame in a big hat and hope nobody notices. But those days were long behind me. Little boy Billy tipped me off about a sighting at Molly's, a no-hope dive downtown. The sort of place you'd ask for a whiskey and get a slap in the face and a barrel of cow's blood. My kind of joint. There he was, looking like all the world had just decided to bake him a birthday cake, but forgotten he was lactose intolerant. Face like, like a like Randy Fishmonger. Days like, I was like saying, these face I'm like... narrating, Raggedy. Now let me describe you. Insult me, you mean? Say, what is he? Randy Fishmonger, anyway. Raggedy was the kind of man who wouldn't see a good metaphor if it asked him to dance the rumba and stepped all over his toes. Carlo was the kind of man to pull words out of his behind and sell them as God's own commandments. The man before me had clearly seen one too many warp tabletops. His words fell out of warp his... Warp tabletops? Like when you finish a drink and you look through the bottom of your glass? Oh, sure. His words fell out of his mouth like marbles at a steel mill. No, you've lost me again. Traumatic childhood incident. That's actually how my father died. Trying to get your marbles out of a steel mill. Ah. Is that why you're so... Hard bitten. Right. I had no idea. Well, maybe sometimes it's okay to ask these things. I'd seen guys like this before. Hiding their shame beneath low-brimmed hats while playing loose-footed games under the table. This was the kind of dame who would as soon sell out her own sister as learn to keep a poker face. Probably a boring sister. And no good at poker, either. Carlo was on the right track, but the wrong train. It was time for the dame to walk. These kind of guys. It was best not to interfere. Love was a complicated game any day of the week. Dames like that one were a dime a dozen in the streets I came from. Dumb as the dog that licks its own balls, thinking they're candy-covered coconuts. I admired Carlo's confidence with alliteration, even if I didn't know what he was getting at. And despite her stupidity, something the waitress said had hit a nerve. Hit a nerve like an insane monkey playing a steel drum in a trombone factory. Beethoven style. Staring across the table at Carlo's lopsided face, I suddenly thought of my wife. Those long nights I would dress her in my fedora and fake mustache and call her Johnny till the cock crowed. Like a... like a crow. Somehow, I wish Carlo would tell me some more about that Randy Fishmonger. <laughs>